Uh, I mean, I think it started with a defense. Um, I made a corner three, and I just had a feeling that it was my night tonight. And uh, I'm just proud of the whole team, how we were focused before the game, just our preparation to this game. I know this game means a lot to to the community in Illinois, so uh, I'm really just glad that we got the that win. I think we, we just come out with, with a good, um, the right amount of intensity um, being dialed in. Um, you know, they start running their sets. Um, we, we've been doing a really good job of really locking in on scout report. Um, so putting those details um, uh, in play right away is a, a big thing. I think that's um, a really important thing um, that we've been doing well. You know, I, just like at Colgate here, um, just been locked in on what they do, and we start off the right way. So, um, Terrence said going into the game, you felt like one of the reasons you guys are ready this year is because you're more connected. How, how have you seen that in comparison to previously? I mean, yeah, starting off, I think last year our defense was we were just switching everything um, on and off the ball. Uh, I, I think we struggled with that early. Um, this year, you know, we're playing a little bit different defense. Uh, um, and we've been doing a really, really good job at it. Um, so that's one thing there. Um, offensively, we were trying to play five out. We were trying to do things, put the ball in people's hands. Um, and it was just kind of uh, no real structure. Um, but this year, I think we have an identity. Uh, and I think we have every every time, whether it's, you know, Justin or Dane, whoever's on the floor, um, we all know our identity and we can all play to uh, something that helps out with the team. Um, and that's kind of been what we've been doing. Um, I, I feel like no one's uncomfortable out there. I feel like everyone's pretty comfortable. So, you just showed Terrence with like some stats. So, what, what's jumping after you? Uh, I showed his rebounding and uh, his free throw. Uh, I don't know how many shots he took. Free throw line. Uh, that was great. I mean, if he probably just make three more, you know, he's at 13 for 16, so uh, it would have been perfect. But uh, he was aggressive. He played great. Like like Coleman said, we were just really connected, and uh, it's a good win for us. TJ, that, that aggressiveness early, was there a little bit extra juice coming into this game for, for the team? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a little bit of juice, um, obviously because how bad they beat us last year. But, I mean, that's, that's what I do. I get out in transition, and that's where I'm at my best. Uh, Coaches emphasize re defense and rebound and getting out of transition uh, with our team uh, these past couple of days. And I feel like we did a good job executing that at the beginning of the game. Coleman, I know it's awkward to talk about someone who's on the same stage as you, but I wanted to ask you about Terrence. Can you describe, for those that don't see every game, uh, his, his role and meaning to your team? Yeah, I mean, um, Terrence is a guy who is electric in transition. You know, anytime we get a stop, you know, I was telling the team today, we get to stop, it's a bucket because, you know, they're not set up in half-court defense. Um, they're not, you know, jamming us up. We're getting out and running. And um, we saw it today, you know, he's electric in transition. Uh, one of the fastest players I've ever played with, um, super strong. Uh, when he's coming at you with a full head of steam, all you can really do is foul him. So, um, yeah, no, it means a lot playing with him because it gets us looks too. Um, you know, a lot of guys collapse, um, try to make him pass the ball, and he – uh, it's pretty good about sharing the ball as well. So uh, he's not a selfish player, um, and he's he's very capable of doing what he did tonight, you know, consistently. So Quincy, every time we talk to you, you seem to bring up the defense with this team. I'm just wondering if you remember the point maybe in the preseason or early on that you realized you guys had something going defensively, and then if either one of you two have anything to add to that. I mean, I think no. It's it's just our focus. Uh, like I said, when we when we focus and connected, I think our defense is the best in the country, and um, we just gotta eliminate some some mistakes sometimes on defense. But we're doing a great job. Uh, I don't know every position on our team. We all like uh, really vers versatile, so uh, we just gotta like keep defending. Like I said, and and just stay together and communicate. That that's the key to to our success this year. Eric, seventeen assists tonight. What do you feel like has led to you guys having the movement, having the sharing the ball that you guys put on this play tonight? Um, I feel like it's just us doing a good job reading the game. Um, 
they collapsed a lot uh, on drives, and we just kicked out and made the right play. Um, we're really unselfish today. Um, and I feel like we're unselfish every game, but they it, it seemed like they emphasized not allowing uh, us to drive uh, in a half court, and we just kicked it out, and guys made shots. Game, a lot of people locked in, you know, looking at the ground, looking at the big screen. You were just smiling um, when you heard the crowd cheer and everything. What was this experience like in this atmosphere um, with this team tonight? Uh, it was pretty dope. Uh, it felt like a home game. Uh, just hearing them uh, roar and cheer for us, uh, calling our names at the beginning, uh, it felt good. Um, and I knew we were in for a good one. Last season, it seemed like the way the game went, you were kind of trying to motivate your teammates throughout the game and kind of trying to fire guys up despite the way it ended. You didn't have to do much of that tonight. How has this team around you changed compared to the group that showed up here last year? I mean, it's two different teams. Uh, I don't really try to look back on last year. Um, I just deal with what we got now. Um, and these are my brothers who are here now, and that's what I'm focused on. Uh, I mean, last year was last year. Last year we lost. This year we won. So. It's, it is what it is, man. Last year is over with, man. I think the game was over for uh, halftime, to be honest. Like like TJ said, uh, um, the fans was really amazing today. Uh, I was so excited before the game. Uh, like just hearing everybody just cheering for us and it was, it was just an amazing experience especially for me in first year here um it was dope Quincy in the second half Missouri kind of like the 17 and you were on, you were on the bench but you, you were telling your guys to make sure they're getting together yeah uh, I mean like like I said being the oldest guy on the team uh I'm trying to be a leader uh really just to keep the guys together you know it's a game of runs it's gonna happen I was just telling Ty, you know, just just make sure you lead the team. Uh, just huddle up every 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 play. If, if there's a foul or something, uh, because it's gonna happen. We gotta stay together if it's going well, if it's going bad. So um, that's what that's that's what I was saying. It's not like Missouri ever wants to slow it down. So when you see a game plan against a team that wants to speed it up, you get excited. <clears throat> Does it seem like you guys think you can anybody can outrun you guys? Um. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean. I mean, I was excited because uh, it's Missouri, you know. Um, it's, it's a rivalry game, and like I said, Coach Brad, he emphasized defense and rebounding and getting on the transition uh, because just based off their games this year, uh, they weren't uh, – that wasn't really their strong suit. And, yeah, man, we just did a good job executing it. Quincy and Marcus now, what's that do for your team? That does a lot. Um, it's just – they're really great players. Um, they're doing what they're capable of, and it's just opening the floor for everyone. Uh, if, if I'm on, it, it opens the floor for them. I can just dish it, and a lot of teams are going to start. Uh, I mean, they leave Coleman open. I tell them to shoot it a million times. I don't care how many times they miss, uh, shoot it. Same with Q. So they, they didn't guard them, and they, they paid the price. Uh, like the question before, uh, Coleman, Quincy, Marcus, everybody on the floor, they're, they're opening it up for me. Um, and a lot of it is a defense transitioning into offense, um, just getting out, guarding, and that leads to easy baskets. So, when Mark, like I said, when Marcus is on, Coleman, Quincy Q, it opens it up for me uh, to have drives. And when that closes up, I just dish it out to them. Uh, so, we're just playing basketball. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciation for for this game and and uh, uh, what bragging rights is all about, but uh, uh, he did an unbelievable job of of 
remembering the tough night we had last year and um, and helping in preparation for our guys this year. Um, you know, when you've got Marcus and and, and Quincy, um, Justin, who have not been a part of this and a group of freshmen, uh, you can't, words don't do it justice till you step on that court. And um, <clears throat> so really proud of Coleman. Uh, um, Quincy, career high. Um, he's back from his wrist. Uh, he's a violent driver of the basketball. Um, he's so aggressive and he's, he's, his, his mentality is, is that of a grown man. Um, was there any doubt who the best player on the court was? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's when Terrence rebounds, um, and he can get out in transition like that. Um, we're, we're a pretty special basketball team. I, I was very pleased with our first half. I thought we, we shared it, but, um, uh, everything we do is up based on the defensive side. Uh, this team guarded, especially well in the first half. Uh, and, and that gets us going in transition, but, uh, um, a lot of guys to talk about it, a lot of really positive things, but, uh, uh, you know, I'll find something to try to work on and figure out, you know, maybe our second half defense, but, um, you know, my, my hat's off to Dennis. He's got a, he's got a, a great group of guards there. And I thought we did a really good job tonight on, on them, especially early, but, uh, uh, wish them nothing but the best and, uh, uh hope they win them all from here on out. Physical and mental uh, maturity of your team tonight. Oh, I think it's pretty nice to have twenty-three-year-olds um, that have been in weight room for five years and have, have been through some things. And and like I've said many times with this group, uh, their attention to detail is 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 really really good. And uh, I hope it relays to our fans, to all of you, our connectivity and our togetherness uh is pretty good like we didn't practice on tuesday we 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 I, I told our guys if if they hit 50 in a shooting drill which i thought was really next to impossible that i would cancel practice and it was the first thing we did the first round we had 23. so i'm like okay we're gonna have a good day of practice so we did it we do it four times and the next round boom 50 and you would have thought that uh it was New Year's Eve, or we had just won the national championship, the party and the celebration that we had. And I had to be a man of my word. We were on the court. Uh, our athletic director came over to watch practice. We were gone. And um, But that's the connectivity, and that's the attention to detail. I, I have that much confidence in this group that I knew on Wednesday and Thursday we'd be, we'd be dialed in. So uh, age has a lot to do with that. Well, athletically, he's just so special. I, I, there was a sequence. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that by anybody. Uh, and my goodness, I sat on the sideline with Michael Beasley and Bill Walker, and I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a sequence as freakishly dominating athletically as that was. And um, his speed, um, you know, he's so strong. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, you compile all of his physical attributes with his incredible, and I mean incredible work ethic. And I've had some guys at work. This one's this one's at the top of the list. And um, you know, it's a saying: good things happen to those who work hard. And it's just a combination of all of it. And then I hope everybody gets to see what a wonderful kid he is. Maturity. They're play. They're playing to win, you know. And, and it's it's. There's no there's no other agendas. They all are mature enough to understand that winning helps all of them. Um, it, it there's no. You know me me me. There's none of that. It's 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 all it's all about you know their 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 approach. They 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 have fun together. They're connected. They're they're like personalities. There's no knuckleheads. I, I mean, it is just. It, Everything you can think of that you would want to have in a connected team, right now we have, and that's that's pretty cool. With the exception of uh, stretching the second half, you shared the ball really well tonight. Is that an emphasis this week? 
Does it, did anybody know what OER is, offensive efficiency rating? We're at 1.7 OER. I shouldn't tell that. Now nobody will press us. I was begging for the press. We're at 1.7 OER against a press, which is elite. Anytime you're above one, it's really good. We were begging for it. Um, and we just keep it simple. We've got multiple handlers. Uh, I don't know. What, what was our turnovers? Now we had 10. In a game where we scored 97, I'm, I'm, I'll live with that every day. And, uh, you know, we can pass. We can, you know, we're, we're starting to shoot the ball. You know, if Marcus makes anything tonight in his we're wide open, uh, goodness. Uh, so I, I, I relish it. I hope we, you know, we got big guards you can throw over. We got, you know, we got speed and athleticism. Guarding, guarding us with 94 feet is hard, I think. Synergy growing offensively. Yeah. Well, we don't. We, you know, if you do, we simplified everything, I mean, it was just a ball screen and 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 kind of booty ball and getting it to where we need to go. And we got multiple guys who can do it. And and when you can play in space, uh, it helps. And then you know, again, it was uh, the ball movement. In the first half was just was 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 incredible. I thought we we had a couple opportunities in the second half to make maybe make an extra pass, but again. Um, you know, we do a lot of extra pass stuff and, you know, it's starting to pay off. How many actual offensive sets do you, have you run the last couple of games? Seems like it's almost all just ball screen and go. Two tonight. I got a whole big play card. Yeah, I got a whole big play card. Two. Really complicated, huh? Games. Games about Jimmy's and Joe's and not overcomplicating. I hope nobody screenshots that and puts that on. Yeah. But uh, but no, it's uh, it, it's 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 not it's not complicated. And we did three or four different things out of those things, but very simple tonight. You talk to your guys. They talk about defense and kind of where they're at in terms of the commitment to it. So I'm just wondering if you when you kind of saw all of that come together with this group and the emphasis. Well, we're still not there. The second half will give me a lot of ammunition over Christmas to uh, uh, to come back at. But uh, we're we're trying to win possessions, and and this group's mature enough to handle that. Our mistakes are fewer and fewer in scouting report. Um, you can do that with a veteran team. That helps. I knew I knew we'd be old. I knew we would have size and physicality. Um, you know, and then it was just connecting the connecting the dots. I thought we had some really positive things in Spain that, you know, I said on our trip, I said, we can, we can, we can really guard, but, uh, uh a big piece of that was going to be, uh, guard and wing rebounding. And so it's just, it's just all kind of coming together, but we got a long way to go and 19 league games. So yeah, long way to go. Feels like you're inconsistency from Coleman, Quincy, and Marcus a little bit offensively. Was that two for ten? That's interesting. Yeah, a lot. Uh, you know, I think that's one of the things just in playing the way we're playing um, is we're we're basically pick your poison. Who do you want to stop? And um, you know, Coleman is a pick and pop guy. You saw it tonight. You know, if you let him get his feet set, he's going to make it. And and um, we're not just one dimensional. We're not just a Terrence Shannon, uh, basketball team. He had 30 tonight, but you know, you, you leave Quincy open, that opens up the floor. Space is what the game is about. And we're able to space. And, uh, uh, and when you do that, that's why our two point field goal percentage is, I don't know what it is now, but it was one or two, three in the country, something like that. That's why it's high. Is is we got guys who can score in there because we can create space based on our shooting. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, bless if anybody needs any.